Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the farm, if I can close my door, there we go. We are in November, 8 o'clock in the morning, and our oil seed radish is ready to be cultivated, which is lovely. We have 50, almost 58,000 dollars in the bank. That is not bad at all. Let's jump straight to work. I... Okay, two things. One, I want to buy this field, but if we take a quick look at it, if we move over to here, it has not been fertilized at all. So they haven't cultivated any oil seed radish in or used any manure or anything like that. So it's not, it, it's not fertilized. So the yield of it is not going to be very good. And since it is the time of this month, I won't have, because there's already a crop in it, I won't have any time at all in order to, well, put any oil seed radish in to cultivate it in. So I feel like I would get very bad value for my money. Where on earth? Oh yeah, I forgot. My cultivator's on the other side. So I'm hanging off a little bit from um, from buying it. I want it, but if anything, I will probably buy it either when it's right, ready for harvest, or or next time. I or not next time when I'm ready to sow in the next oil seed ready. So in a year's time. I don't know. I don't know what the best course of action is. Also, I am remembering actually, I need I need, um, do I have what wheels do I have on? Yeah, those are definitely not road, road crop tires. We, we need to go to the dealership. This tractor definitely needs a service. It also needs some fuel, but I think we can manage for today. But yeah, it needs a service and I also need to, what was I thinking of? Oh yeah, <laughs> crop tires. We need we need the narrow tires in order to drive in the oil seed radish without destroying it, because that would be counterproductive. Now I haven't actually decided what type of crop we should put in. Um. Yeah, I don't I don't actually fully know. Part of me is thinking canola because there is a type of machinery that I kind of want, that would make the sowing process very easy. But I don't know if it's canola we should get. Also, I just noticed we have a bale over there. That must be from the baler when we returned it. That's cool. When we did that baling contract. Okay, repair 2,500. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. And we also need to equip. Uh, we'll set up. Narrow tires. Right there. We could upgrade the engine for 15,000, which would increase the tractor to 155 horsepower, which is honestly very tempting because we won't, yeah, it's a lot of money. We would get down to $40,000, but yeah, I don't, hmm. I don't think we need it currently, but there we go. Um, our tractor has been maintenanced. And we have new wheels. We could buy a power washer, but that's 4,500. But it's kind of a necessity, just like this, to have a house because we gotta keep things clean. Uh, I believe it is in construction tools. Yep, this right here. Uh, I guess I guess we'll buy it because our our equipment does really need a clean. So let's fly all the way over. <laughs> Now, where should we actually place this, I wonder? Oh, well, that's with another object, so it needs to be out in the open. We could put it here, but I'm kind of moving around over there. We could put it right here. We could place it right there, and then do all the washing over here. Or right here. That doesn't really fit. Hmm. I guess this is a nice open area. So let's just place it right there. Good enough. All right, that's $4,500. You may argue that uh, that wasn't a very, very good purchase, but we need to keep our machinery clean. Otherwise it's just gonna break and yeah, in real life it would anyway. We gotta take care of our machinery. So here we are. Wait, I need to smoothen out that bump in the road from the house. <laughs> but let's place the tractor right there. And let's give it a clean, shall we? 
Clean all those wheels, all those windows, get all that mud out of there. It's gonna look brand new after this. Oh yeah. It's shining. Look at that. I guess we should bring this over to the cultivator as well. Oh wait. Oh. Oh, it still works. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, let's wash the cultivator as well. I know we're washing it right right before we're using it, but it's gonna look great. It's gonna look great. There we go. Put this away. Oh yeah, look at this, brand new. All right, let's attach up to the cultivator, and we'll get these things cultivated. And while we're cultivating, I will be sure to think about what crops we should put in. We have. Well, we could choose between anything, really. Um, obviously, we want something high yield and high value, which is why I'm part of me thinking canola as well, because, well, canola is, I think, pretty good high yield and also pretty good value. One way I try and look at it, if we go in here, is I look at the current prices and then what is highest. But then, of course, you've got to take into consideration, like, wheat and stuff, usually, I believe, has a higher yield than most other things. So, yeah, it's definitely something to consider. But, we are cultivating. And we'll see right in, and let's just verify that this is, in fact, working. Yep, as you can see, that black stripe right there means that it is, in fact, working. And now that these two fields have become, have become one, this sh really shouldn't take a whole lot of time. Yep, this is good. Again, I keep saying it, but I would love to have a second tractor, because it would make stuff like this even faster. Obviously, we only have one cultivator, but I could set it to sow in this field while we're cultivating the rest of it. So, but that'll be for the future. We are making pretty good progress on the farm, though, I will say. We have 50,000 in the bank. We could buy that field right now if I wanted to, but I'm going to wait a little bit. Maybe things will improve. Maybe they'll spread some manure here in the following months. That would be that would be ideal for us. <laughs> so, so we get a little bit more for our money. But yeah, we'll have to find out. Anyways, I'm going to cultivate this. I'm going to think about what... I want to put in, or what we should put in the ground, and I'll be right back when this field is done. Let's get to it. If I had a cultivator that was just one meter bigger, I wouldn't have this current issue <laughs> that I'm currently having to my left. Yeah, that's annoying. But I do apologize if my driving was a little bit, uh, well, swaying, I guess you could call it. I was looking up, yes, while driving. This is not advisable, but. I was driving, the, yeah, anyway, uh, I was looking up <laughs> uh, best crop for us, and I think I've come to the conclusion either we should choose soybeans or canola. I don't know which one of those I should get, though. We just did soybeans in the field, uh, in field 47, I believe it is, last harvest, but the reason why I'm thinking canola 
is because there is a piece of equipment that we can buy that is going to make weeding a whole lot easier, but also sowing a whole lot faster. And with that said, that is this field finally completed. I still need to do field 47 and I still need to do this tiny field over here, which I will do in a moment. But I'll show you the equipment that I'm thinking of. So let me turn off the engine here real quick. If we head into here and head into our garage, our current weeder is this one right here, right? It is six meters wide and all it does is remove weeds. But if we go into here and scroll down to weeders, the next one in line, obviously there are these expensive ones, but there's this one for 18,000. Right. This one still pulls out small grown weeds, just like our current one. But the cool thing about this one is it can also seed. Specifically, it can seed grass, oilseed radish, and canola. Oilseed radish, obviously, that would make it very easy for us to put in the oilseed radish in the ground. Instead of using, I believe, the three meter seeder that we have, this is nine meters. So if we sell this one, and buy this, we would get so much value for the money. And then I guess we might as well go canola in all of our fields as well. It would make the seeding very easy. So, I don't know, is there a combination? Hmm, weights. I guess it would be good to have a weight, actually, speaking about weight. Hmm. But regardless, I think I want to buy this, and I probably want to buy it today. We definitely do have the money for it. That does mean, however, that we won't be able to right now be able to afford that uh, field 49 I believe it is the neighboring one but January is just around the corner and at that time we're going to be selling our silage our lettuce and also our other stuff so yeah in January we're gonna make a lot of money so we might be able to afford maybe even another field I I don't know I don't know how much we were we actually going to get, but yeah, it's uh it's promising. I'm gonna do this driving out back and forth constantly until this field is done. I don't know if this is the right way of doing it. You probably wouldn't do it like this in real life, but this is the easiest by far and the quickest. <laughs> I'm not even gonna. You know what? I'm going to make a weird time lapse out of this. It's going to be like 10 seconds. It's going to just be me going up and down instantly, just being done. So, you know what? Give me a second. <laughs> enjoy, the, enjoy the weirdness that is about to begin. Did my eyes just deceive me? Or did the width of the cultivator actually fit? I'm shocked. <laughs> okay, so I just experienced something. If my last recording has been laggy in any way, I really do apologize. I just discovered now that my OBS was having some issues. I think it's because my, I set up my game, uh, game graphics a little bit, but apparently that's not enough GPU power for my uh, for OBS to record. So, yeah, I had I had turned off vertical sync, which just provides smooth FPS because it's capped at 60 right now. But hopefully everything is going to work just fine. Uh, moving forward, the reason why I usually don't run with vertical sync is because if there's a lag spike in game. The FPS is going to go from 60 down to like 50 or 40 maybe, whereas if vertical sync is off, well then it's going to go from maybe say let's let's say 100 to 80 and then it's not going to be as noticeable, which is why I usually don't run with vertical sync. But in this case, it's kind of necessary or I need to turn down some of the graphic settings. I'll look at that in between episodes here, but I'm taking out my weeder because we are in fact going to change it for the other one. Now I'm done, not 100% done with cultivating, but we need we kind of need a break in between actions here, right? Well, not actions, but I should say when it's something that is taking a while, we don't just want to do one specific thing. We want to 
at a little bit of variation. So we're gonna sell our old weeder and we're gonna buy the new one and I have no idea how much seed I'll need actually. I might need to buy an extra bag of seeds because I don't know. Well, we'll probably have enough and I guess that goes into that I have ha I have settled that we're going to go with canola this year round. So this is going to be quite interesting. Not to mention that all of our fields will have stage 2 fertilizer. I, I am always about to turn at the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> Not to mention that this year we will have uh, two stages of fertilization on our fields thanks to the chopped straw and oh dear. I'm low on fuel. I need to sort that out as well. Uh, let's lower this. Detach. And let's go in here. This thing, if we repair it, we should be able to earn some money back. As well as repainting. Yep. And sell. Boom. Sold. We made 7,911. So if I head into the shop. Head into Weeders, this one right here, no customizations allowed apparently, so let us just go ahead and buy it outright. Done. So now we're down to 40,500, which is okay, because this is really, th this is a huge upgrade, because we want to do oil seed radish every year. Having a 9 meter working width with this thing is going to be so, so good. Now, I don't know, I wonder what the capacity of this thing is. I don't know what the capacity of this thing actually is. I don't know if we will be able to see it anywhere. Mm, 300 liters, okay. Hopefully, oh, hopefully it's not going to be a case of having to refuel every two seconds. But before we continue, we do need to head on over to refuel the tractor because the last thing we want is to get stuck in field 47 without any fuel. Um. Yeah, that that would be that would be kind of bad. Now I need to remind myself where the fuel station is. It should be it should be right next to us actually. Yep, right next to field forty six. I might get the field numbers completely wrong, but you know what? I'm I'm going with it. <laughs> Here we are. I also do want to use the money in order to get equipment like this, upgrades and stuff like that that can progress the series a little bit. You know, so it's not the same thing that we have going on constantly. All right, half tank. Let's see what the what the gas prices are at. I'm I'm guessing five hundred dollars ish. Oh, three hundred. Hmm. Well, we do use quite. I feel like we use quite a bit of fuel in this tractor. But uh, I, I don't know how how fast the tractor actually uses fuel, so. I, I'm probably not the right one to judge on that. All right. Let's go ahead and refuel or refill the cedar with canola. There we go. Oh dear. Right. Considering that this now has a 9 meter working width, how fast would we be able to do this field? Let's unfold it. And let's actually make sure. Hold on, I need to <laughs> verify. <laughs> Is it even sowing time for canola? No, it's not. We need to wait for March. I'm way too fast, but this would be the working with. We would need to go up and down like three times or so, and then we would be done. Three, maybe four times. Okay, that's that's sick. Okay, let's put this away somewhere. I guess. In here, where the old one used to live, this new one will now live on. There we go. Brand new weeder acquired. Now watch, it'll be in the sale next month or something. I guess I could have waited for that, but I, I, I was excited, okay? I am excited to use this thing. Alright, where is my cultivator? We're missing field. Okay, I need to verify. What name is this field? 47, right. 47, copy that. Uh, yeah, I really want a bigger cultivator, but there, it would be ten thousand dollars or so for just an extra meter, which isn't that much. Not to mention the horsepower requirement for a bigger cultivator is, um, well, it's a bit. So, 
<laughs> Today is cultivation day. All right, let's get an ore. We have a lot of lettuce, I think. I'm excited for when we need to sell that. We will need to buy a trailer for that, I think. I mean, okay. I know we will need to buy a trailer for that. I'm just going to hope that it shows up in the sale before then. Getting anything used that we can is going to be, well, the best for us, obviously. But okay, here we go. I am going to cultivate this field now, and I'll see you at the end of it. <laughs> this is going to take a bit, but uh, it's going to be worth it. All right, field 40. I forgot the field name again. 47. <laughs> I think it's 40, 47. I need to remember I can actually just look on the minimap. 47. Yes, this is field 47. Now, well, it will be complete in a moment. And done. All right. That is all the cultivating done. And if we take a look at the map, hopefully it should so fertilization on all of it yes perfect except for this right here and I think that is because hmm I'm not actually quite sure but this is good enough perfect basically two stages of fertilization has now been completed awesome and actually I think that is all the work that we got for today Pretty good. In the next episode, we will probably be skipping a few months. Well, we need to go to January, which is probably the next month that we will land on. Where we actually have something to do. And then after that, well, we need to sow. We need to sow the can uh, canola. And you know what? I'm just going to place this here. It's fine. Boop. Done. I don't think I'm missing anything. Let me just park the tractor, verify a few prices. There we go. Let's take a look at the shop here. So just to verify, oats, January, uh, soybeans, June, but that's fine. And we also do have silage somewhere. Aha, silage is January, and letters, finding stuff in here can be tricky, <laughs> there it goes, that is, yep, January, February, we'll probably wait till February with that one, but yeah, good times, hopefully, ahead, so guys, really hope you have enjoyed this episode, actually, one, one thing, <laughs> <laughs> just cutting in there one thing that I do want to do once we have seeded the canola is to roll it because that should add 2.5% yield to us so that's that's definitely something that I want to do this time around but anyways hope you enjoyed hope to see you next time have a wonderful day goodbye I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play, play some Minecraft or something yeah yeah bye bye